In this demo, we look at how easy it is to use codeless configuration with Smack Studio. Smack Studio allows you to build your own Smack apps in just six steps. The sample app we are going to build here will provide a service for employees usually working from home. Using Smack Service Portal, they can request to work in the office on a particular day, optionally reserving a car parking space. Before we begin, we must define what the app should do, what input fields it will provide, etc. This is mostly paperwork, which we have done upfront. Now the first step is to add a placeholder for the app in Smax. Within Smax Studio, this is very easy. We just add in the record type needed for your app from the available out of the box record types. Done. The second step is to build the workflow. The workflow is based on high-level phases. In this example, plan, arrive, depart and done. From these phases, we build out the detailed workflow phases that the request will flow through. In step 3, we'll add the fields needed to provide all information necessary to open and fulfill the request. Again, with Smack Studio, this is very easy. We just pick the desired fields from the several out-of-the-box fields, like employee name, start and end date. Now, in step 4, we are ready to set up the forms for populating the fields with data and for viewing the record. There are three form types that need to be added for each record type. A new form is used when creating a new record. A full form is used when viewing or updating an existing record and the preview form is used when viewing record details. In this demo, we create the full form. We just pick and choose all the fields we want to have on the form to gather or show information. In step 5, we define what happens when moving through the defined workflow by using business rules. The examples will show what this means. Here you see a business rule to make a field mandatory, for example. Dependent on where you are in the workflow, we can create different types of business rules. As another example, Smax can automatically update the office location field based on the content of the employee record. Now we are almost done. In this final step, we'll make the new service available to employees. We'll create a catalog offering for the app and integrate it into the self-service portal. In this step, we also define how employees view the data input form, whether approvals are needed, that a request record is automatically created for the service desk backend, and when the request can be automatically closed. With Microfocus Max, you can build your own workflow-based apps in only six easy steps without any coding.